Sorry, did I wake you? Nope. What's going on? Oh, uh, it's nothing, really. There's just something I need to ask you. So, can we talk? Sure. Great, but not here. Follow me. Do you think Midgar's over there? Anyway... There's something I need to ask you, too. Shoot. That night, five years ago, at the reactor, I saw you lying there. Saw your wound and all the blood. I figured it was too late. Yeah? <sighs> Wait, what are you implying? That I died? That I'm some kind of imposter? <sighs> Can't believe I'm having this conversation with you. But here we are. Here, look. My scar, that proof enough? After you left, Zongon found me. He's the one who brought me to the clinic. He risked his life carrying me out of the reactor and down the river. Wasn't just him though. There's the doctor who operated on me all night and the nurses who looked after me for days on end. I'm here now because they were there for me then. And where were you again? In fact, where have you been this whole time? For five years! You know I can't tell you that. Of course you can't. Sorry, I just need some space. I thought we could just pick up where we left off, like nothing had changed. But I guess I was wrong. Guess so. I was so happy to see you again, but maybe I shouldn't have been. Oh! Hey! Perfect timing. I was just about to come find you. Yeah, I... You... Regret what I said in calm. Oh. Come in. I should have never doubted you. It's fine. I never should have doubted you either. Say, do you remember a guy named Emilio from Nibelheim? Only person from the village I remember is you. Huh? Oh. Okay then. His family owned the general store. Right. <sighs> anyway, he left the village right before you did. Thought I'd never see him again. Then one day last year, he shows up at Seventh Heaven. I couldn't believe my eyes. He was all... grown up. Didn't even recognize him at first. Really? Yeah, and what's more, the woman who walked in with him was stunning. Like... She could have been a model, and... <sighs> You're... not interested, are you? Not really. But I I'm happy to listen, so go ahead. 
It's okay. Forget it. Was this another test? No, it wasn't. I... <sighs> Why deny it? I guess it was, huh? I'm sorry. It's fine. We'll find time to talk. Just the two of us. Figure things out. Just be ready to spill your guts, huh? <laughs> With my iron stomach? <laughs> Night. <sighs> Think I'll turn in early tonight. You ought to get some sleep, too. I think I'll turn in early tonight. Whoa. Well, Red, how do we look? Huh? <clears throat> Tifa, you look as sleek as a dolphin, and Aerith as diaphanous as a jellyfish. <laughs> that your way of complimenting us? Human beauty is hard for me to assess. You're totally my type. How's it going? Like, seriously. Oh, look at these two. Not even trying to blend in. Honestly. Did you miss us? Cloud? Something wrong? Uh, no, nothing. It's just hot. Uh, in the sun. Speaking of which, you guys should probably put on s sunscreen. <laughs> you might want to go first. That's some sage advice, Mr. Pasty. <sighs> <laughs> Make way, people! Back it up! <laughs> what? Hey! Oh, Joe. What a wonderful surprise it is to see you again. Ah, rest assured, I'm not here for Aerith. Though, were she to offer her assistance, I'd gladly accept. Don't hold your breath. Oh, I won't. At any rate... <gasps> A very special show is about to start. One starring you, perhaps. Now this is <laughs> <little lovely. laughs> so much fun. Hey, what well, you have to see? You ain't got to tell us. <laughs> Couldn't find the bartender, so I, uh, helped myself. Costa del Sol. Used to make him back at the bar. And here I am, drinking one in its namesake. Feels like it's been ages since I mixed a drink. Since Seventh Heaven. Yeah. Well, it's happened since then. A lot. Good and bad. Ever wish you could just snap your fingers and forget the worst stuff? It's a part of who we are, whether we like it or not. Yeah. The deepest wounds never really heal. Hey, I can make one for you too, if you want. Nah, I'm good. 
Next time I ask for a cocktail, it'll be at the new Seventh Heaven. At least, that's what I promised Barrett. And when exactly did you promise him that? Sometime. All right, Mr. Secretive. You do you. Hope I can come back here someday. Stare at the ocean. Listen to the waves. Looks like we're not the only ones headed for Nibelheim. Huh. Almost like they swung by Cosmo Canyon just so they could lead us here. Sorry, just thinking out loud. Forget about it. I remember what happened here. And to Zack. Oh. Bridge broke. He fell, got swept away by the current. I think he's... dead. You never forgot, did you? That's why you've been acting weird. Didn't want to upset you. That's all. Zack was my friend. How could I just forget him like that? Degradation. It's hollowing me out, bit by bit. You're wrong. You remembered, Cloud. It'll be okay. It will. I know it. Thanks. We gotta tell Eric about this. She deserves to know what happened. Yeah. Yeah, she does. But let me be the one to do it. Why? Because she and I are close, you know? Hey! Are you two done yet? Yep. Be right there. Let's just keep this between the two of us. Promise? Be afraid. It's not death. It's a homecoming. Stop. Please. There's no time for this, like you said. One of them's still ahead of us. Right. No time. Still with us? Yeah. 
I'll go get the others. Cloud? You remember how our parents used to tell us that when a person died, their spirit would cross Mount Nebo? Yeah. We all knew it was a story to scare us out of climbing the mountain. You believed it, though. I didn't. At least, I had my suspicions. But I buried them. I wanted it to be true so badly. I didn't want to think my mom was just... gone. Plus, Emilio and the others said they'd help me find her, so up the mountain we went. Some help they were. Running off and leaving you out there? Not that I knew about any of that. You don't remember? <laughs> I hit my head pretty hard when I fell off that cliff. Think it messed with my memory. Everything from around that time's a blur. I only knew what the others told me. Didn't even occur to me to question them. What'd they tell you? They said that you egged me on. <laughs> but now I know that's not what happened at all. When the rest of them ran, you were there for me. You stayed when I needed you most. If that's not a hero, then I don't know what is. I'm no hero. What kind of hero falls off a cliff with the person he's trying to save and pushes him into a pool of Mako? Sometimes, I don't even know who I am. I forget things everyone else remembers just fine and know things I've got no right knowing. It's like there's different people inside of me. And the worst part is, I can't even tell where they end and I begin. Go on. Soldier cells degrade. I think that's what's happening to me. That I'm falling apart. That's not going to happen to you. You saved me before. Now it's my turn. Aww, worried about little old me? Aye, that's right. Worried. Come on! Sorry! You know, hmm? I never understood it. Why'd my dad go into the reactor? Why chase Sephiroth? Thought about it ever since waking up in Corel. It just seemed like such a bad idea. I mean, what did he think he was going to do? Fight a famous war hero and win? Well, he didn't. But after moving to Midgar, after making a life for myself, I finally realized where my dad was coming from. He was angry, and he'd had enough. Everything he'd worked so hard for had been destroyed in an instant. All that he'd built for himself, for us, gone. Sephiroth had burned it to the ground. That's why he went, even though he had to have known how it'd end. I see. And like him, I took my pain, my grief, everything I was feeling. I took it all and turned it into anger. Anger that led me to Avalanche. <laughs> the problem is... Anger doesn't last. So when Avalanche started to become more violent, there wasn't enough left to hold back the fear and the doubt. It was taking a toll. Then you turned up. Have I helped you get through it at all? Yeah. 
You have. If it wasn't for you, I wouldn't have had the courage to come back here. A lot's happened, but now that we're here, I know this was the right decision. Because now I know they rebuilt everything, tried to sweep what they did under the rug and pretend it never even happened. But I won't let them. I can't. Sephiroth and his cruelty. Shinra and their lies. I'm sick of all of it. Hey, remember when we were kids? How you'd, you know, always be looking at me? I, uh, what? <laughs> Every time we made eye contact, you'd look away. And when I tried to talk to you, you'd ignore me. Not surprised. I was a pain in the ass as a kid. I was the opposite. I needed everyone to like me all the time. Part of me still does, I think. Kind of hate that about myself. Gotta get it together. Doze off? No. Those pillow marks say different. Yeah, yeah. You got me. <laughs> anyway, wanna broaden your artistic horizons? Loveless is playing here. And... I got us tickets! Sure. After that, we could ride the Skywheel. Right. We missed out on that before. Yeah, but not this time. Let's go! Congratulations. <laughs> Would you like to sing it? Me? I must away. Release me! My blade thirsts for vengeance! Fear not, Alfred. I've come for you. Rosa! How did you find me? I sensed you were in trouble. T'was the will of the goddess, perhaps. Another step, gentle princess. Varvados. Oh ho! Would the cur defy his captor? I, by the grace of the goddess, as she has set me free, even now, so too shall she guide my blade. Alfred, look. Must you go? Those I hold dear are waiting. I don't understand. I cannot. But... Please be safe. Rest assured. I shall return. 
You needn't promise that you'll wait. For I know that I will find you here. Wow, that was amazing. I can't wait to start bragging. I'm friends with a famous singer. Well, maybe next time you could take the stage. <laughs> Attention! The Sky Wheel will be closing soon. Please line up and have your ticket ready. Well, the night's still young, right? What say we check it out? You ready for this? A gondola's here. Well, after you. You first. Uh, Cloud? <sighs> Think we can steer with this? Worth a try. <laughs> Here it goes. Safe. <laughs> hey, over there, see that? <laughs> Being a jockey looks so fun. That's definitely not what the races are like. I guess I'll just have to see for myself. So, have you talked to Aerith? Hmm? Hey, um, Aerith? I talked to Cloud. He said he remembers Zach. <sighs> How they were friends five years ago. What? Not yet. Right. Touchy subject, huh? She must still have feelings for Zack. I think it's a little more complicated than that. Hey, it's kind of weird us being here like this, isn't it? Is it? I guess it is. Kinda. Ever since we left Midgar on this crazy journey, ever since we were kids, even, I can't remember a time like this. A time when we were this close. Or am I getting ahead of myself again? Again? 
Yeah. Again. <sighs> Not one bit. We should probably head back to our rooms. Yeah, probably. <laughs> 